So it's June 21st and um, last week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we had some cooler weather come in and some of the corn plants turned a really a light yellowy green fluorescent color. We got a lot of phone calls from people wondering what was going on with the corn. So it seems the fields are the ones with our, our non-Roundup ready corns and they were sprayed with a chemical called Accent. So Accent basically is a chemical called nickel sulfuron and it affects the um, the transfer of basically the pigment of the corn or the synthesis of the corn basically. So when we had that cooler weather, wet, wetter weather last week, um, the plants basically started to shut down or the growth pattern slowed way down and because of that the chemical gets more concentrated in the plant itself and it starts doing a little bit of damage to the plant. The plant has to try and metabolize that chemical out of the plant itself and the weeds basically like this one here um, which is a barnyard grass leaf can't really do that so the barnyard grass ends up dying out but the problem is this barnyard grass leaf is almost the same color as the damage on the corn plants and so because of the cooler weather those plants couldn't recover good enough so so again um, sometimes with different chemicals and different temperatures that we have they react differently. This corn's now been side dressed and so it's starting to come around. It's only been two or three days now since it was affected and so now it's starting to pick up again. So yeah these plants will most definitely get affected and should start to come back again. So it's the 21st of June and we're in this one cornfield right along the freeway. You probably see it when you go back and forth. So the reason we want to talk to you about this field is this guy basically planted fairly early around the 20 25th, 26th of April, got it in on time, used 10340 starter fertilizer at about 26 to 28 gallons an acre. You can see on the coloration on the corn and the dark greenness as well too, how good it looks. Then we came back in and we sprayed it with Roundup with a little bit of ammonia sulfate and then a little bit of atrazine at a half a liter and didn't damage the corn plants at all. And now with the combination of the weather, plus he had some chicken manure on it early before he planted as well too, this nitrogen now is starting to slow release and we're getting one of the one of the best corn years, I think, for this field that we've had for a few, to, few years. So again, if everything is followed in sequence and you put chemicals on that don't damage the corn or hurt the corn, and a year like this year, your corn plant should do really, really well. So again, um, these fields look really good. Coloration looks good. The growth is good. We've had about, um, about 50 to 60 millimeters from about the first part of May of rainfall. And the ground is saturated right from the surface all the way down. Now with the rows closing in, we should have enough moisture there to last for the whole growing season. So. If we get a few more timely rains, one maybe in the middle of August when it starts tasseling out, we should have record corn crops coming in this year. So, so again, scout your fields, take a look around, and, um, and then we can start figuring out what to do maybe for this upcoming fall time so far as um, setting up the processors again as well too. But the corn crop so far looks really good.